if you want to manage courses, go to the main menu and click Courses. From here, you'll see a list of active courses, which are current between the start and the end date assigned. If you deselect this, you would choose Inactive, which would be outside of this current start and end date. If I want to import courses, I could click More and choose Import. If I delete a course, I could also restore it here as well. If I want to bulk update or delete, I would first need to choose the courses that I want to either bulk update or delete. If I bulk update, I have some field values I could choose. I could bulk update the type from range to continuous. Range has a start and end date. Continuous, you would choose the number of days that it would run. You would also give it a start and an end date. The start date is when it's viewable to students and the end date is when it's no longer viewable to students. If I want to manage a course, I click on the course ID of that particular course. I can change the title, the term, external ID, the type, the days if it's continuous, and the start and end date. I'd also be able to view some important information like the course ID, the domain it belongs to if you have multiple domains, the master course that it's receiving links from, and the master course ID. Under the Enrollments tab, I can add new enrollments. Here I click New, and I provide the following information. I would be able to see important information, but I'd also be able to add a user. I could either type in the name, or I could browse. And then I would need to choose the role. In this example, this will be my teacher. Make sure their status is correct, and then give them a start and end date. This can be different than the course date, so the student would only see the course based on the date you give them as a specific user. And then click Create. I also may want to add a student. I can either click More and Import Students, or I can do this one by one. I would be able to start typing in student names and make sure the role is student, check the start and date, and click create, or continue to add multiple users from here. Whatever users you add will need to have the same role. And click create. And then you begin to populate your enrollments. If I want to change an enrollment, I simply click on the enrollment ID, and I can change the role, the status, or the start and end date, as well as give any custom permissions if needed.